Like one of the key ones is backlight punch. Uh, Look at that reach. Oh, well, I'm back here, by the way. Punch. <laughs> I'm here, guys. Uh, this punch, is uh, so. This is what I intend to do for the combat it's cast now. Whenever far, they show like, gameplay. Kind of I'm going to try to shut up, like but I'm also going to give my input on, you know, what I think about the character so far. No face cam right now, just because I feel like the gameplay should be the focus. And he can actually hit confirm it into the dash and go into a combo. Ooh, okay. One thing that's notable about that so is can you cancel it? MK11, cancel it. we actually don't have that many special moves that go into a combo without amplifying it. Right. Even Scorpion's Harpoon in this game, he actually has to amplify it to get a combo. Right. He doesn't. The dash... He'll always get a comp. Nice. So that's kind of a pretty powerful thing about So it's kind of like Sub Zero. Really Sub Zero's Ice Ball. Without meter burn, you you get ball. free combo. Another really good normal is forward two two four, which he starts doing these over these uh, mids, and then he ends in an overhead, and he has mm -hmm. low attacks that you can use to mix it up if you want. So that's kind of a good like up close. Splat. Yeah, and that also goes to a crushing blow we can talk about later. Okay. It probably bounces too. Another one is 3 2, which is kind of like your Punisher strength. Like you block Sub Zero Slide or Scorpion's Harpoon, and then you can actually, again, juggle them and go into you Nomad know, Dash. Classic Cabal. Now, here's what I, I want to just do a little. I, I noticed something okay. that you did, Steve. So, as you know, like when you create your own uh, versions of these characters, you can name yes. what you've done it. You've called this 7-3? Uh, 7-3. Yes. That's a, <laughs> a reference to a previous game that I'm yeah. going to get to, and that it basically is a warning to people playing him. I'm very, very strong. <laughs> I'm very, very strong. <laughs> yeah, beware. And we'll, we'll, I made this Cabal this loadout on, on purpose. Did so, I just, did I just blow, blow a, a reveal? Yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal, but huh. thanks, Tyler, for killing the bit. My bad, my bad. 7-3. So well, I didn't play MK9, so I don't know what character it is. Cabal, it's four, four, one plus three. So I know that apparently uh, Cabal fast. and it's Shiva a was really a 9-1 matchup, <laughs> which is fucking overhead. crazy. Okay. And I want you to keep in mind, I keep mentioning overheads, because those are the key mix-up tools that he has in his normals, right. and we'll get to his lows in a little bit. So now, this when we talk about overheads, too, like, for those who, who you know, don't know that that's just that's a... By the way, as always, guys, if you guys... Enjoy the MK11 content. Leave a like rating. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. Let's you keep going. Stand block against him unless he commits to low special moves that he I'll show. In a minute. Sure. So I think the four four is just a great tool. Like if you hit a down one, or if the opponent does something where they're it's four four is a mid, huh? They're not punishable, but they're like slight recovery. It's a great move to just mash it out. Honestly, when I play Cabal and I don't know what to do, I do forward four. Right. And you really can't go wrong. And another thing, like, I just want, just as you watch the combat cast and as you learn with us, I want you to know some of the terminology. So when you say forward four, like, people play Forward and B, forward and circle. Systems. So the buttons it's like heavy kick. as such, one, two, three, four. So right. It's, like, you can think of it as the left punch button is one, then two, and then on the kicks it's three and four. So right. that's a universal way. I'll definitely be making a video later console. on explaining so when you go on all that terminology for you guys, Reddit, if you don't know. You go to our Discord. On Twitter, if people are trying to discuss what combos do, yep. you're gonna see a lot of one, two, three, four, back, forward, four, to like explain how, how combos work. So pretty much, one is light punch, two is heavy punch, three is light kick, four is heavy kick. So on a PS4 controller, it's one is square, two is triangle, three is X, and four is a circle. And you could, you know, map the buttons on xbox you one and you know do the same fast. thing i would call That's this good range right hella there. range i think this is hella Ooh. oh yeah very what's very that range. a sweep it's another move i'll just throw out what's above hella range hema oh That's okay. one step bigger okay gotcha is back two is also great it's not a combo but it's kind of a safe like just get the hell yeah, out of here get out of here Get out of here! Move. <laughs> okay, that was you, be, that was you doing playing a cabal. cabal impression. Okay. And now I think we can show his throws, which are pretty awesome. And I, yeah, let's show this. So actually, since the commentary is in the main focus, let's right, give it a little bit more volume. No, I like it. Oh, God, it's good. And I've always talked about this. Throws are so good. You see a lot of them in fights. So the throws really have to add color to the character. Mm -hmm. Like, they always have to feel like the character. Because, you know... You watch a lot the of Nomad games. Dash. Throw is something that come back to so a lot. cool, man. It's an animation. Can't believe so Cabal is really back. Because cool right. people are going to see it all the time. Yeah, it's one of the best ways to show a character's personality. We can also see his wake-up attacks. He uses his swords as a huge oh, anti-air. Yeah. yeah, the startup is definitely not really instant like it has been in previous we'll games. He actually winds back a little bit. Great time to talk about it. So, 
you no longer do any special move you want when you're knocked down. Instead, you have these preset moves that are only available when you're knocked down. So with him, you hit up two and he'll do this move. And that's, that's up two just and up three, attack. I believe. It's the only way you can do it. And then you have an up three. So now, Also notice that it took one bar of defense and one bar of offense yes. when doing it. You were both waking up and you're invincible. Oh, they actually changed the... So um, now, are they both... Armored or now it more? says oh, great question so in, you're up three, in numbers like your how much you bar you have him. that's fully invincible but you don't get a lot of damage you can see he just kind of knocks sub zero away it's just kind of get off me get reset some heavy room right yep. but the up two is not invincible but it is an anti-air and it is immune to air attacks and that you get a full pop-up so you can see he actually gets a combo so the idea here would be, it's a simple meta. So from what I've seen, you can't you cancel a Nomad Dash, or did I miss something? Uh, low risk, low reward option, that's fully invincible, and if the opponent respects I'm sure it would have been in the trailer if you could cancel you it, right? it, You go for the anti-air one. Right. What do you guys think about Cabal's design? You can wake up attack at all, or you can wake up roll forward or back. I think it looks pretty cool. Right. Or you can just get up and actually block, and... You know, right. who wants to do that? Right. Who I mean, you, I've you've got all these tools. Like, no, <laughs> right, right. Why you would I do tools. that? Awesome. So I think that that's kind of Cabal's base kit. And I think the notable thing about Cabal in this game is he's actually, in my opinion, pretty basic and easy to play, which is interesting for him. Right. Cabal, like in the in MK9, was actually a high execution character. And in my opinion, he's not really like that anymore. He's not like a high pressure high intensity oh, character. Okay, he's pretty okay. simple and for me I've always loved Cabal but I could never actually play him. Right. I'm all and on he's one of my right. favorite characters. He might have right a dash cancel in one of his variations like or one of his moves. Five or six moves and they're they're pretty basic and he kind of has a move list. It's like quick and dirty. Like right. here's some good mids, here's some good overheads. He has a couple of low special moves. What more do you need? Well, and that's important too. We, I mean that happens a lot in, in in the games we make is that like there are some characters that like really help the people who are good at high yes. Like very difficult things, but like a lot of characters who aren't super difficult <coughs> to play, still fit right in the meta, and yep. it's a good place to start. Like if you're starting playing our games, like maybe maybe Cabal is a good place to start for you. I absolutely think he'd be a really good beginner character. If you just want to use your kind of, I just from this range, I just kind of do safe stuff and don't really commit to anything. Make the opponent. If you want to think more about the opponent making mistakes than what you're doing, I actually think he's a great character for that. Also has a lot of really badass specials. So if you're a guy who's not a tournament guy, and you like sit down on the couch with your buddy and having a beer and playing the game, and want to slam some hook swords. <laughs> this is the guy you go with. Which sounds like a good reason to get into a special moves. Okay. Let's do it. So, I don't know if anyone noticed in the trailer, gas blast is gone. Well, it's just totally. Yeah, different. I actually it's did better, notice right? that. It's he has gone. another gas right, move that's like no a uh, standard gas. There are now combo hundreds starter. of MK9 players that are just crying. Well, there's a yeah, no projectiles for him right, right, right. in the air, the instant air one. However, he still has Cabal a saw, though. still a pretty awesome zoner. His buzzsaw is now very, very fast, and it's actually a gadget that he throws. Oh, because I've always okay. wondered, what so you is could actually it? Throw Why it normally. does he lift his leg up and summon a magic buzzsaw? <laughs> it is now Black Dragon Tech from the Black Dragon Black Market. He got from k and he actually throws it like a straight projectile. It's a good recovery. It's pretty good. And the amplified version actually... That looks like something you could get a combo off in the corner allows them to go into Nomad Dash. So right. you can't really react to it. You got to guess that, like, you got to be pretty confident it's going to hit. But if he's trying I've to always loved the Nomad Dash. Sure it's it looks hit so cool. It's significantly faster than most projectiles. You can go ahead, go into it, and actually get a combo conversion. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. He also has other buzzsaw, buzzsaw moves that you can use as uh, abilities. Like, for example, this loadout, he actually has the low one back. And the amplified one is super cool because he throws two. It does really good chip damage, and it takes up a ton of space, so they actually will have to jump. Right. I also, in this loadout, because this loadout is based on, now I'll admit the 7-3 thing is, this is my MK9-style Cabal. He actually has a air straight one that he can do. Mm. Pretty oh, lady leather and face. And can amplify that to actually recover super, super fast. Right. So, you know, you can use to cover the ground, and they're going to have to inch their way in, and you know they're going to want to jump. So the air one you can amplify it to recover one. fast? Or if they jump, you can't you just catch them with a the dash, too? I wonder if it's right. so classic, I mean, plus on block, you can make the salt just plus on back, block. right? Like, it's awesome. Now, we've already talked about the Nomad Dash, but now we'll show it clearly. It's, it's everything you want about Nomad Dash. Now, normally, he actually cannot cancel it. That's gone, too. Right. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be a we've, move, right? Uh, like, a lot of the pressure like that, 
is drastically toned down in mm -hmm. the default move list. But if you're someone that really loved it and you do have the execution, right. you're not like me, you don't want to just you know play the bare bones, you want it, that is available as a customization item. So gotcha, gotcha. He actually can still do that. So oh, you spend a bar of meter. Back for him. Yes, it is. You can make that load Defensive out. meter, too. your bag, you're someone that's really good at that, that is available. It'll take one of your slots, so you got to think clearly. You know? Wow, okay. But if you want to make this MK9 style loadout, you can. you're free to do it. You can, and you can do it. This yep. is interesting. Another special move he has that's actually back, and I think is very cool, is this hook slam move. Oh, this, overhead. Is, this is your combo ender. You're going to pretty much end all your BNBs with this. It does good damage. So what this if tells me, it, ladies and gentlemen, is that super fun. if there's a character like Liu Kang that has Ren cancels, the way to balance yeah, it is awesome. they're going to take a defensive um, bar of stamina away from you. Special moves is uh, in this loadout I gave him. So you're not going to uh, be able to dash cancel for free, and wait, there's no stamina bar, <laughs> like actual run number, stamina number, bar. I think we're done with this loadout. Actually. <laughs> I think we're so ready that to go is to the, the way that they're going to normalize run cancel right, characters. So another made another. I made another loadout. Interesting. This is the personal one that I use when I play. That's a big I'm deal because defensive stamina is, you know, very so important off, for wake ups and getting out of combos. Oh shit! He has an air saw that goes. That is his normal human form. Wow. But normally he uses the down one, which is the one I prefer. He can also amplify it to uh, uh, recover very quickly. And this is pretty awesome, not just for zoning, but it's for faking jump ins. Like you can that is definitely jump pretty ladylike. Pretty safe. Lady like, Leatherface has, we about earlier too, the, the, you could throw the chainsaw human, low, mid, like, high, diagonal, and, uh, down. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I absolutely love the coat, and I think I think his uh, not being burnt up is cool. The I difference is that Pretty Lady Leatherface has all that in one variation. Yeah, it seems like you need a bunch of actually meant to be in different moves for each unique and there's like art for it and low saw, like, mid saw, oh, upward Steve saw, Florida. stuff like that. That was actually cut, so... And he wasn't Shaolin Monks, but this is the first time where you can actually play him unburnt. I'm, yep. I'm very hyped for that. All right. Cool. Also in this loadout, I gave him a low hook sword, which not only looks cool, this complements all the overheads I mentioned earlier. And this is the way that I like to play Cabal. High risk character. Like, I'll do this, and normally he has the overhead. I'll go into the low hook. Ooh. Or, as I said, this is an overhead. I'll do this. So the low hook is punishable. He's going to get bodied if they block it, but he keeps the opponent guessing all the time. I also am a big fan of doing that instead of the overhead, and that's going to not only keep him guessing, but it's going to keep him focused on the normal he's doing, which then opens up the throws. Right. And then lastly in this loadout, I gave him the parry, which is... In MK9, he kind of had a parry because EX Dash is so OD, and now we've actually <laughs> just given him an actual parry, and it's very strong. He can actually hold it, as long as he wants, and he gets a full combo. With oh this. wow! So and it costs you no stamina or anything. That's parry. cool. So in my opinion, the way I play him in this loadout is he's a 50/50. It's a high risk 50/50, but he still opens you up all the time. And then he has defensive options. With See, the a lot of characters so have really long range normals close, that you have to kind of commit to with up, combo strings. So them, this might be really good. The full combo. Can I say something? If you can bait those no, out. Derek, maybe you'll agree. Okay. Is there anyone faster at going through the training menu than Steve? No. Well, no. I, I do it all day long. Like, it is... It's impressive. We got Ken Morris coming in here in a little bit. You can, they can't hear you. Yes or no? Is there anybody faster? Ken, Ken thinks he's faster. Oh, my gosh. Can we get two screens side by side? <laughs> time it. For get, the yeah, worst just... stream of all time. <laughs> to so, see who can do that fast. Should we do one more loadout? Yeah, I, I have one think prepared. So. I think we owe it to people. We yeah. Owe it to people? Mm. Okay. One more. So this is a gas-based loadout. All the loadouts are... So this is the gas move that we saw in the trailer, probably, <laughs> that... Uh... I mean... <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Yeah. I'm a child. I'm sorry. You could actually so see his I entire body burn here. here. Okay. <laughs> the first is this new version of Gas Blast. It's actually like... It's like a string ender. It's a safe way to end his strings if he doesn't want to commit to anything. Venomous Devora. Let's go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just comparing these the two MKX characters. Because he spits out even more gas, and this gas... Oh, wow. It stays on this it, field. They will take dot damage, and jumping is disabled. Oh, okay. Do you so have to say dot damage? Jumping is disabled? Damage over time. That's You're like, right. That's it like saying ATM be... machine. Right. 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 So this like Boracho, Boracho's when fart cloud. When you on the mid-range with his back one string, you kind of spit that out. And now the opponent, they're either going to take the oh, damage they get or they're going to continue in. to stay out. So 
That's, that's pretty a cool. Sick that's good. Respirator so if they get caught yeah, in it, that's really cool jumping the And then, uh, I also gave him this high mobility gas jet pack Boop. where you can see and you can control how far. <laughs> <laughs> He's farting his way to the opponent. Yeah, that's what like Boricha should have had, man. They missed the ball on that an, one. An anime game, or actually maybe an even a wacky injustice. I'm down with that, man. I'm down with the air dash. The -ups, go over them. Could, could you cancel? It's like Hellboy control? right there. He can't. Oh my goodness! Which I really Sweet. like to do that too. You can use it to go over projectiles. Like right. if he's gonna do ice blast, you jump. If you're gonna land on it, gas blast over, then do the the air saw. It's What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already. Also, check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.